Yeah, bonjour from Quebec. Hi there, my name is Theo. I'm a big fan of Range Road product. Uh, I have this edger since uh, almost two years now, and I still find out different way how to work with it. As you know, an edger is for edging. So w th there's two way to uh, to uh, use the edger. Uh, in in some case, you already have a nice part here that you don't need to edge, so you have only one cut to do. And what I find out is instead of doing at this side of the edger, I'm doing at the at the wrong side. So the only thing I, I put is another another uh, another square head, and now I have my four inch here. So that's the blade here that I can move from left to right. The other one is one that fixed. In my case, I put it at four inch because I that's the way I like to use it most of the time. And now I just put um, the indicator at four inch. So when this will go through here, I will cut only this side. The other way to use the edger is using uh, edging uh, two uh, two sides at the same time because you have this that you want to you want to remove. So uh, now what we're we doing here will leave enough space uh, that the the, the 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 right side from the wood that you want to remove. And here you will just in my case it's it's four inch. So we'll just move the 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 blade that we can move and I, I will bring it here. Other things you can do with this edger that you cannot do with mostly of the edger, you can do an unperfect piece of wood like that because the rotation to move the wood uh, through the edger is coming from the carpet and it's under, it's not on the top. So even if the, this uh, piece of wood is not perfect, I still can uh, put it through the, to the edger and what we're doing, we all bring them to uh, to the same four inch so we can build outside wall with that. Okie doke, thank you.